The next very important question is that why the absorption spectra of lanthanoids are line-like or I can say the absorption spectra of lanthanoids are line-like while that the absorption spectra of the transition metal or d-block elements are broad. Why? As we know that when the light falls on the transition metal complex or the f-block element complex, metal complex, the unpaired electron which is present in the lower energy orbital uh, absorbs certain amount of energy and goes from lower energy orbital to the higher energy orbitals. During this certain amount of energy is being absorbed. The amount of energy that is absorbed is shown here like that. If only one energy is absorbed, then it gives one line. If more than one energy is absorbed during this transition, then we will get more than one line here. When lights fall on a metal complex, the metal ligand spoon starts to vibrate. And due to this vibrations between metal ligand bond, the distance between the met ligands and metal bond increases or I can say the distance of this ligand from metal increase and decrease due to the vibration in this bond. So when the ligands are closer to the metals, the distance between the orbitals or splitted orbital is more when the distance is closer to the metal. The distance between this splitted orbital is more. So in this case, more energy is required by this electron from for the transitions. When the ligands after the vibration goes far away from the metals, in that case, the distance between these splitted orbitals is less. So in that case, less amount of energy is absorbed by this electron during its transitions. So when this bond vibrates or fluctuate, a large number of energy differences are formed. In that case, large amount of energy is being absorbed. So in this case, the spectrum formed are broad. It is it it happens in case of the transition metals. If we have a look on the electronic uh, configuration of the transition metal, suppose for the 3D transition metals, 3D transition metal, the electronic configuration is that the novel gas configuration after 3D 1 to 10, then 4 s2. The d orbitals are not much inner or not deeper. That's why the ligands affect the metals d orbitals or interact with the metal d orbitals easily. So, due to the vibration in this bond, the extent of energy of these d orbitals is affected and a large number of uh, energy states are formed. So, the absorptions in case of the d orbitals takes place at the large range of the energy. That's why the energy or the absorption spectrum of the transition metals are broad. If we compare the electronic configuration of f block element, the general electronic configuration of f block element is that 4f. 1 to 14 here is the noble gas electronic configuration then 5d 0 to 1 then 6s or i can say first there is the lanthanoid metal then 4f after that 5d and then 6s so as compared to the transition element the 4f orbitals are much deeper so the ligands which surrounds the metals f block metals do not affect the extent of splitting of these f orbitals when the metal ligands bond vibrates by the absorptions of the light. The extent of energy between the different f orbitals do not change due to the vibration in the metal ligand bond. So, when the light falls on this metal complex, during the FF transition, only one energy is absorbed. Any one form of the energy is absorbed. So, in the absorption spectrum, we will get only one line which show the energy absorbed during the FF transition. That's why the absorption spectrum of the lanthanoids or can, I can say the F block elements are line-like. Due to this nature or due to this behavior, some lanthanoids metal complex are also used as a reference in the absorption spectroscopy.